And as you know, Democrats never let a good crisis go to waste. So make no mistake, January 6th is not the somber day for them that they're acting like. Sadly, they are exploiting this as a political opportunity. Otherwise, Nancy Pelosi, Mayor Bowser would be called in and they would rightly be questioned. Why did they not go along with Donald Trump's call for the National Guard? They're even celebrating with a special musical performance. We won't play it now from the cast of Hamilton here with reaction. Former Pentagon chief of staff during the Trump administration, uh, Cash Patel. Uh, the inspector general, by the way, said you guys did everything right at the Department of Defense. Fact check. Did Donald Trump call for 10 to 20,000 National Guard troops to be on standby for January 6th? Did he do it two days before January 6th? Yeah, Sean, and it's great to be with you. I was in the Oval Office on that day, days prior to January 6th, with the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and others, and President Trump. And he authorized, as the law requires, 10 to 20,000 National Guardsmen and women to be utilized around the country. But the second part of the law requires a federal agency or governor or mayor, such as the United States Capitol Police or Mayor Bowser, to make a request. Otherwise, the National Guard cannot be deployed legally. Okay, and you have a uh, we have the actual signature of Mayor Muriel Bowser to defense officials declining the National Guard support. We'll put it up on the screen. To be clear, the District of Columbia is not requesting other federal law enforcement personnel and discourages any additional employment deployment without immediate notification and consultation, et cetera, et cetera. Is that true? That's 100% accurate, and Biden's DOD Inspector General himself said the Trump administration DOD did not delay or obstruct their response to January 6th, and Mayor Bowser and the Capitol Police repeatedly in writing refused to request the National Guard, and that's in the report, and it's in the DOD records, and I wonder why so many people aren't asking for it. I'm thankful that you are. Let me ask you this. Uh, to, for the National Guard to have been called up, that had to be approved by Nancy Pelosi. Is that the correct uh, chain of command? Well, Nancy Pelosi uh, supervises the United States Capitol Police. That's the federal agency and Mayor Bowser who would have requested the National Guard. So I can't imagine a universe where the United States Capitol Police didn't consult with their chain of command to make that request. But we know we went to the Capitol Police and said ahead of time, we can posture ahead of time. The National Guard takes time to man, train, and equip these ladies and men to serve the community. We can't do it instantaneously. We can't beam them in. Uh, we have to pull them out of their communities, and uh, no such request was granted or given prior to January 6th. Did the Capitol Police Chief himself on multiple occasions request the National Guard help even before the riots happened? I don't recall the National Guard police. I never spoke to him. The Secretary of the Army would handling that relationship. But there must be a formal request. There can't just be a phone call that says, hey, we need help. That's not what the law says. Posse Comitatus and the Supreme Court have said you cannot deploy troops in America. It's unlawful unless it's the National Guard pursuant to a legal and lawful request that has to come from the head of the last, agency. Last and, question. Uh, Mayor Bowser. You, you went to this committee before this committee. Uh, I read that they were asking you more questions about Afghanistan, which seems rather odd to me. But you have a timeline of the events that day, and you were backed up by the Inspector General mm -hmm. of the Department of Defense in terms of you taking the right actions. My question to you is, what is in that timeline that people need to know? No, oh, fantastic question. It's backed up by writing. Mayor Bowser's written refusal, the communications between the leader of the Capitol Police and their chain of command to the DOD refusing our request to allow National Guards men and women to stage on January 4 and 5 before January 6. That's in the timeline. The repeated written request refusals are there, along with the chain of command that the DOD followed. And this, I'll leave you with this, Sean, the biggest thing. The DOD is the only no-fail mission on God's green earth. And we were proven right that we acted uh, lawfully on January 6th under the law and under President Trump's authority. Well, and that sound, is something that's in the timeline as well. It, it sounds like they weren't interested. Is it fair then to conclude that had Donald Trump's request uh, for National Guard troops two days before the 6th, had the mayor of D.C. approved it and Nancy Pelosi approved it, is it, is it a safe assumption that what happened on January 6th wouldn't have happened? 
Well, I'll leave it to your viewers to picture 10,000 to 20,000 uniformed military officers trained to protect not just property, but personnel surrounding the United States Capitol. I can't imagine a force on the universe that could get through that. And that's what we were preparing for. And then request never came from Mayor Bowser of the Capitol Police. That was sometime tomorrow, we, we will post your entire t uh, timeline on Hannity.com. Cash Patel, thank you for being with us. Straight ahead, Liz Cheney revealed the true intentions behind the sham January 6th committee. Congressman Jim Banks, Jim Jordan, they were 